of the beautiful morning in Terracia. My name is Steve Nishas. I am a independent contractor photojournalist. I went to college after high school for one year. I didn't like it, and then I moved to California and surfed there and got a job as a carpenter. And by the time I was 30, I decided it was time to go back to school. You know, I'm not sure how I quite got into journalism, but I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I left AP and came down here and started working as a freelancer. It was just good timing. I was able to step right in and start shooting. You know, football, baseball, the college sports, any kind of new stuff. And at the beginning, I mean, we were, it was really busy times. And since then, the whole newspaper business has, has changed somewhat. I like shooting sports and not all, I like shooting baseball because I've always been a baseball fan since I was a kid. And I like shooting at the trop because it's air conditioned. And I love covering spring training and to the games. I know the photojournalism part is gonna end at some point for me. And, um, and I just wanna keep shooting pictures. You can see the fish. I love the shadows, the two different shadows, the shadow of the rope. And an hour later, when I walked back by it, the light had changed so much, it was just another boat in the water. A lot of bait fish on those flats today. I try to go out there when I know the light's going to be good and live in where we do in Terracia. You know, we're pretty fortunate to be in such a cool place because a lot of the images that um, I'm selling now as uh, art photography, it's images from, you know, my neighborhood. And what's cool about that, I know what, I know where to go, what times, where to be, and just really lucky that we live in such a cool place. And a lot of it's just being patient too. Um, I've got a picture of some spoonbills on a branch and I sat there probably for about two hours before they did something that, you know, looked good to me. But um, you just got to sit there and sit there and sit there and, but you su be surprised on what you do see. I walk around the island in the mornings and there's a house on the other side of the neighborhood that was built in 1912. And they were removing all the exterior siding. And after about the third or fourth time walking by it, I was thinking, man, I bet some of that stuff could make some nice picture frames. And I asked them and they said, hey, take all you want. When I built the first frame with it, I really felt like it worked well with my images. And I've just been on that path ever since. Some of the latest wood I've got that has really resonated with people is um, some wood from the Bellevue Biltmore Hotel. And it was part of the laundry room ceiling and some of the exterior siding. And I mean, it, when I get the wood, it's old, it's dirty, I mean, it's just filthy. And I, I wash it all off, you know, I scrub it with soap and water and, and Whatever paint chips come off, you know, that's fine. And what stays just becomes part of the frame. When I was in California, I worked as a carpenter, so I, I had that skill. And I've been able to incorporate that into the frame making. So, you know, two of my oldest passions, um, carpentry and photography, it's like they're coming together again. <laughs>